Hello and welcome back. So let's uh, give a couple more functions for writing and reading to the database so that once we start, it's just smooth sailing. So this is our model uh, PHP, but let's go to the home controller here for a second. So we have this way of reading data, which is very nice. We can just add a column and then give a value over there. Now I want a couple more things we can do with this. I want us to be able to do something like user uh, insert like this, and then we just provide the data that we want to insert and then need to create a new record. So like this, no need to create uh, queries everywhere. We just do this very short line of code and it will insert. I want exactly the same thing for the update, like so. But then for the update, it should know where to update. So we need to be able to put an ID like that and then the data, right? And then I want the same thing for delete so that we can just say user delete and then we add an ID over there, like so, okay? So this is, um, yeah, this is what we should do. So let's get these three functions on the road. So I'm going to mute these for now. Let's go to the model. We have to put them in the model because we want every single model that inherits this to have those functions. So I'm just going to copy the where and just put change it a little bit down here. Two, three. Okay. So we have where, 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 but let's try here to say insert. And then we should have data over here and then here we'll have uh, so that insert and this is uh, update and on the update we'll have an id and we'll have some data over here and then on the delete we just need the id like so Okay, that's uh, pretty much what we need to do. So let's start with the insert, for example. So when we are inserting, the query usually looks like this, insert into, so whatever the table is, insert into table, and then we have our columns. So column one, comma, column two, etc., And then we have values over here. And then we're just going to say uh, value one, and then value two, like so. But these values have quotes like that. And this is the normal insert query, okay? So column, value, column, value. However, we are using prepared statements. So we don't need these quotes. We just need full colon like so on each one of these uh, values like that. So it should look something like this. Now, these are from the column names, not the values, but the column names like this, okay? So this is what the insert statement should look like. The values will be in an array, which is this one. So the first thing we have to do is extract the keys of our array because the keys determine the column names. So to extract keys is very simple. I'm just going to say keys is equal to array keys. No surprise there. Okay, so keys is equal to array keys. That's good. Now I'm going to get the columns, let's say columns is equal to, I'm going to tell it to implode. And what will be the glue is a comma like this. And then for the keys like so. So what this does is that it gets the array and puts all the columns provided in a format like this with a comma separating them. Okay, so goody, goody, goody. So I'm going to copy this columns and add it right here, okay? 
good and then I want the values but remember the values are not really values it's just these column names with a uh, full colon at the beginning okay so I want to implode this but exactly also I'm going to put a comma but then I will put a uh, without this just a oops what did I do there okay so full colon there like so and then yeah uh, okay so here's just a comma here's a comma and a full colon then we'll have to put the full colon at the beginning as well of this same thing so i'm going to copy columns again uh this is not good this is uh, values this should be values otherwise we'll override the first item so copy that still using the keys and i will put this here but i need the full colon at the beginning so i'm going to add it there like so and concatenate the rest of this like that okay so this is the query so i'm going to say query oops query is equal to and like that and like that okay so that's our query right there for the insert and once we are done with that we add uh, let's see here column add slashes uh, no we don't need this so everything here removed and then this is return this query and then we have our query and we have our data so copy that and let's move this out of here and put data over there okay very good so once we have this this is an insert query here so let's give it a test run and see how that works so we'll go to our home PHP controller. We just want to insert. We are reading from the database, right? So we just want to insert, then read from it, like so, okay? So we'll do the insert right here, and then we read from it right there. Now, I just want to use an array here. Let me change the name to something else, like AAR. And I want to add some items to that so that uh, we have something to insert. So let me come back here and see what we have. So we have ID, which we can ignore. We have first name, last name, uh, the date. Okay, date, user ID, gender, rank. So these are the values that we need to insert. So I'm just going to add them here for reference. And in fact, I can use this same thing to uh i can just do this copy that just go here there 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 like this paste put that that there like so okay i just need to move these for perfection okay there we go so we have array first name is equal to so let's remove this thingy here it should be an equal sign let's do that let's do that okay so this is how it should look like but uh wait 2021 like so let me put that there there Okay, so something like this. Now we can just change these names here. Now this one can be, uh, uh, I don't know, I'm, I've run out of names in my head. So boom, bam, just so we have something different, right? Female and student, something like this. So let's see if this will be inserted into the database with our new function. So back here, and let's just refresh the page refresh okay so we get an error which is very nice because we get to solve something so invalid parameter number number of bound variables does not match the number of tokens okay so this is the most common error when you're using prepared statements what this really means is that the number of items i've added here uh in the 
where is this? Actually, the problem should be in the model. It says the keys and the values are different in number. However, this shouldn't be the case because here we have equal parts. We have a key and a value, right? So everything should be working fine. So let me come back here and try to see what's going on. So at this point, I can just echo the query just to see what's going on. So I just say echo query like so. And let's come back here and see if we did not interfere with this at all. Uh, array, array, no, it doesn't look like. Okay, so let's just check out the query. Refresh, and this is the query right here. So let's see why certain things don't seem to be matching up. Mm -hmm. So there's first name, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So everything seems fine. So I think it's this thing I added at the beginning here that isn't working well. So as you can see here, it's um, it didn't translate properly. So let's just go back to the model. It's a very simple problem here. Uh, we just need to have this translate correctly. So instead of putting these, since it seems like it wants to be a literal, so we're just going to put a full colon just like that. And this should solve our problem. Okay, so back here and uh, let's refresh. Okay, so syntax error violation, you have an error in your SQL syntax. So it says, check the manual that corresponds to your. Okay, so it says, usually it says syntax error near, and then there's table, uh, first name, last name, etc. Okay, so it's the table it cannot find. So this is fine. What we will do is get this table and put that there, like so. Okay, so insert into table and blah 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 that should work fine so let's try again fingers crossed and there we go okay so as you can see if we go down here we have a new record which is right here very nice so now we have a new way to insert records what we need now is to update and one more to delete but let's do those two in the next video